let's go on to crypto showdown so we have three altcoins here and the question is top altcoin picks for april go to menti.com and tell us what you think the options are the graph grt uh drep drep and vibrate vib so uh forest what do you think out of these three options which ones do you think has the, the most upside in april so i'm not intimately familiar with drep or vibrate in the sense of their tokenomics or or you know exactly uh what they're um trying to accomplish but i do i have looked into both of them and drep uh, which i'm not even sure if they have a token trading yet i read is a decentralized reputation system they're trying to be able to monetize reputation it kind of reminds me of rally that we just talked about uh, and social currency and i really truly believe that the next narrative that we're seeing already start to emerge and i think it's just misleadingly getting lumped into nfts uh, because nfts is kind of leading the charge in this area is decentralized content or the decentralization of the content economy and when you start talking about social currency or decentralized reputation and then being able to monetize that i think that's a key part of this so whether it takes off in april or not it's extremely interesting to me and drep is absolutely one that i will be looking into at a deeper level going forward all right uh bill what do you think Okay, I think Forrest is 100% right. This whole idea of like Web3, like actually coming true, right? In other words, it's not just some DeFi curiosity or guys with Pokemon cards online. It's the FANG stocks, your identity, your reputation, your social media, online potentially combined with a token that allows for transfer of value without some monolithic big brother institution in the middle. Oh, wait, that's a monolithic big brother institution that's in bed with all the global governments. <laughs> Gee, let's get rid of all that. <laughs> that's what crypto is all about. So I'm with Forrest on this. Okay. And how about from a TA perspective? If you could maybe pull up the, the TA for the graph. Okay, so I just looked at the graph. Actually, Bill, your screen is not popping up for some reason. Could you try to reshare that? Sure, let me, uh, let me try to uh, reshare Safari here. Okay, so here's the graph. This is actually a daily chart. Now, a lot of these oracles have been doing chain link, et cetera, is they've been lulling everyone to sleep. Does this look like it's going to take off and explode? Um, not exactly, but one inch exchange looks very similar. I think when it comes to the graph, you have to be careful of like a sequel to like the Coinbase moon effect where you know, if Ethereum or Dash or Litecoin or even Uni or Synthetics gets rolling again, the graph might go along with it. Uh, I don't think this is the number one narrative in crypto by any stretch. It's like a third or a fourth place, but the chart does look decent. I just think that there's more money to be made elsewhere. All right. Uh, thank you, Bill. So let's actually pull up uh, token metrics and use the trends indicator. So if we go to the graph, looking at the low frequency indicator, let me actually zoom into the last three months because I, because I know there was some crazy price action when they launched. So the low frequency trading indicator is bullish, just turned bullish actually on the 1st of April at a dollar 88. If we go to the high frequency indicator, which ha which basically trades a lot more, let's see what this has to say. So this is also bullish on the graph. So all in all, both indicators are bullish on the graph. If we go to DREP, let's see if we have any price action here. Okay, yeah, this I think is probably too new to really have any indicators. Because we took- It looks like it actually just 1,000 x from two cents to, not 1,000, 100 x from, from two cents to 
two dollars and something because it just launched this week right or last week i think did it or has it been trading for a while coin market cap has it's it's been trading for the entire month of march but and it was at a you know less than a cent for a little bit of the time yeah because look interesting here, i'll look into it yeah so here on coin gecko it says it's it's new so if we go to the pricing history yeah, there we so, go. yeah so they launched on the 30th of basically on tuesday so yeah that one we can't really have, get any data on but looking at their current market cap even that's unknown so very very speculative uh i'm not sure if it's the safest <laughs> investment or trade, uh, but going to Viber rate, VIB, low frequency has been bullish since November at basically one cent. And it's now currently at almost 12 cents. If we go to the high frequency indicator on the site, as this loads, so also bullish. So wow, so I guess we have, uh, actually, let's see what the market cap is on this, 23 million. So I would say if you're looking for something very, very speculative, maybe VIB, but if you're looking for some, something more, I would, I would say a, a safer trade, I would go with GRT. So in terms of the options we have, I think it's tough. Um, but for me, me personally, I'm always gonna go with the safer one because this, I'm not sure whether I would be in it. Actually, let me take a look and see what, what platforms that they're on. So looking at this market cap, 736, market cap, 23 million. If we go into markets, okay, it's on Binance. Okay, that is more reassuring. So they're definitely able to pass the Binance and OKX uh, threshold. So actually, you know what? I'll go with VIB. <laughs> I'll go with it with the low cap, uh, but definitely as a trade. Um, so me, me personally, if anything, that's a trade, I don't put more than 1% of my capital in it because Funny thing, over 1%, I want to make sure our team goes through and does actual fundamentals and proper due diligence on the code reviews and all that. But as a trade where fundamentals don't really matter and you have you practice proper risk management, I'll go with that. So let's see what the audience has decided. So, and the winner is GRT, the graph. All right, so tell us what you think. Do you think the audience is right? Do you think they were wrong? Uh, post your comments down below. Okay, let's see what people have to say here. Well, so many chats here. Apologies, we, we can't keep up with everything, but we'll try. Uh, so most people were for GRT in the chats, chat as well. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.